All right, guys, last day of ICAST. <laughs> I'm going around, and today all I'm going to do is talk about kayaks. If you guys are in a kayak, What's a kayak? and you have anything to do with salt water, you know this guy right here. What's up? Marty, and I never know how to pronounce his screen name. Zofanger. Zofanger. <laughs> Z-O-F-F-I-N-G-E-R. Zoffinger. Zoffinger is his, uh, his YouTube channel. <laughs> but he's a man after my own heart. He makes all of his own stuff. I'm talking seriously cuts and, <laughs> and welds into this? his kayak and makes everything out of PVC pipe. Yep. How's that pretty That's good? That's what I love Andy. about the dude. His videos show all these crazy little modifications he does to every boat he's ever had and he's about to start living in a boat himself so I am already yeah I'm stoked that's, that's a awesome. crazy life yep and you get to follow <laughs> that on his on his vlogs and he tells good stories so go check him out um, for the rest of the uh, today I'm just gonna go show kayaks and just I don't know that's all I feel like showing because everything else is so boring <laughs> I'm excited for you man that's fun <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right so this one right here is the new pelican kayak it uh, it run for a little less than a thousand. They're kind of the low end kayaks, um, good entry level stuff. Right. Sit up real good on the seat, so it's a lot more comfortable than those sit on tops. With plenty of storage. The hats in the back. These are the new uh, rails from Scotty, the new mounting rails. Scotty makes the stuff that fits into that. Those are really nice. They're nice and flush. They don't get snagged on anything. So. Yeah, like I said, these are your entry level. So if you guys that are on a really big budget, you know, really tight, tight budget, that's what you want to check out is, is, the, is the Pelicans. Not bad. I like the seat. It's pretty good. So this is one of the coolest pedal drive kayaks. This is a feel free lure 11.5 and uh, it's just some high points on this pedal drive. You can, it's, it's either, you know, it's, it's both a pedal drive and a motor drive, but they're actually separate. They, they work together. Let me do that again. So it's actually a, it's both a motor driven and a pedal driven. You can turn the motor off, turn it on, whatever, and everything else. But what happens is, the, the one thing to understand is these are sold separately so you can have if you want to you can just have the pedal driven and uh, and, and then you can add the motor driven later on so you don't have to buy them as a as a kit um, really really simple simple uh, design that the the prop itself is adjustable so if you want a little bit more torque or less torque you can have it pretty good pretty dang awesome is what I say it is so that's probably the most impressive pedal drive that I've seen here um, and we'll go look at the other ones in here in just a minute, but not bad. What's the price point on? Yeah, for the whole system. Okay, for about yeah, not bad for so two thousand for the whole system. That's motor, pedal drive, and everything. So awesome, awesome, and it's stout. It's gonna last you. All right, so while I'm walking to the next kayak place, which I have no clue where it's at. Um, be sure to check out the new company I launched this week This week, uh, called uh, Fishing Shirt of the Month Club. Uh, you can see it at fishing, fishingshirtofthemonth.com. But uh, go check it out. $10 a month you get a shirt uh, that I design or I approve. Depends on whether I got time to design it or not. So pretty awesome. Not all of them are going to have my logo on it. But either way, go check it out. I'll leave the link down in the description. So here's Native's pedal drive. It's a, a, a lot more simple than the last one. <laughs> simple pedal, forward, backward. A little prop underneath. It actually comes in and out pretty easy. Just pop this up and it comes right out. I'm sorry, to pop that out and it comes right out. Nice little rig. I, I really like this one. This is the one I, it's belt driven. So, not bad. That's Native's pedal drive.
Pretty cool. Man, I'm excited. Excited to see all this happening. So I'm hanging out in the new canoe booth. New canoe, anyway. Checking out their boats. One thing to understand about kayaks, you have the entry level ones that are, the, the kayaks are basically that a top is welded with a bottom. Um, and they're okay, they're just not as stable and they're not as durable. Thinner plastics and everything else. Then you get into these type of models that are what's called roto molded and they throw a bunch of plastic into a mold, they spin it, they heat it up, everything else, and they mold these things out. These are the ones that are a lot more durable. So any kayak that you find that's roto molded is what you're looking for. But the new canoe, this is the sweetest color. Look at this son of a gun. Baby blue. You got white little foam decking on it. You can put some of these clips on. Pretty cool little rig. And no, these are not the most expensive ones. These are actually the le one of the least expensive roto molded kayaks. So, if you're interested in them, check them out. Yep. I thought I would ask that, because they were like, oh, who's this? Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. I don't know his name, but he's John, John Hall. <laughs> Sean Hall. Okay, here we go again. Hold on. Uh-oh. John, Sean. <laughs> so I, I, was, oh, that was, I like that. Yeah, that makes some people look stupid, don't it? Yeah, I know. <laughs> How long did it take you to do this, though? About 20 a piece. 15, 20. Yeah, some crazy shots on there. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I like that. I, I, my favorite one. Let me do this one. Those trailer loaded up. All right. So one thing I forgot. One thing new for new canoe this year is the swiveling seat. The seat swivels way out. If you guys notice, it allows you to fish off the side of the boat. So if you're deep cranking or anything like that. Um, you use the drag of the boat and you can make good accurate casts. You're not casting sideways with those big crankbaits. All kinds of different stuff, but it, it's, it's pretty beneficial to be able to hang your feet off the side of the boat and fish sideways when, the, when you're fishing those low drag, low drag baits. So, pretty cool. I like that idea. Alright, so I'm in the Wilderness Systems booth. We're going to do something a little bit different because I got Chad Hoover here. Um, I know he sounds like a pitch man, <laughs> but I really, he knows more about these pedal drives than I do. Uh, you guys have two, right? Two different ones that you're testing yeah. out? Yeah, or? well, Wilderness Systems has one, and Perception has another one. So okay. Confluence Outdoor owns Wilderness Systems, Perception, uh, Adventure Technologies, several companies. But for the sake of this topic, uh, there's the Wilderness Systems pedal drive in the Radar kayak, and then there's the Perception pedal drive, the Pilot. Uh, and a little bit more of a price point offering. So uh, on the premium side, the specialty stores, you know, the Wilderness Systems brand with the Helix PD. Uh, that Helix stands for, the PD stands for pedal drive. There's the Helix PD and the Helix, Helix MD, and the MD stands for motor drive. But for the sake of this conversation, the, the pedal drive is simple. It's incorporated into the boat. Uh, the cool thing about this boat is once you take this pedal drive out, if you want to paddle the boat, this oversized scupper allows you to put the biggest transducer out there. So if you're running side scan, structure scan, stuff like that, you still got your flex pod for your battery and your standard uh, configuration for your electronics, but you can use this port for uh, more than just that. Uh, the simple operation is that it's a reciprocal, you know, it's a recumbent style bicycle. You just pedal it, which allows you to also pedal it backwards and give you reverse. Uh, probably the industry first and one of the most unique things about this is the kick plate. You simply kick this plate here, it unlocks the pedal drive, you line the pedals up and it comes up to complete zero draft. Once you have the alignment, you pull the pin on the side and fold it down, you get complete zero draft. And so this is, you know, almost zero draft. You get about three inches depending on how the prop hits. Um, what I tell everybody to do, you see these guys on all the videos wiggling these props, trying to line them up. If you simply take a marker and an and a etching tool and put a little mark on your pedal, a little index uh, spot on the face of it, you can do a quick alignment, hit your button, your prop lines up, you fold it over, it's out of the way. So when it comes to revolutions per minute, the amount of torque provided for by the prop, the fact that it's got forward and reverse, and then it's got the kick plate for hands-free recovery. So you're fighting a fish, your pedal drive catches onto something. Every other brand in the market, you're gonna have to do some lever or actuate it to get the pedal drive out of the way. You hook up on a wilderness systems and you need to get that pedal drive up, you simply kick this plate with your foot, the motor drive comes up to near zero draft. If you line your pedals, it comes up to zero draft. 
and you fold it out of the way. So for more information on this, you can check out the Wilderness Systems website, wildernesssystems.com. There's going to be a ton of videos coming where we get this thing out on the water uh, in the coming weeks. I'm going to get Gene in one of these, see what he thinks. He's got some pedal drive experience. So ideally, rather than getting a bunch of guys like me that have been paddling and pedaling Wilderness Systems that are, you know, one of the things that Gene does a great job of is having that objective viewpoint. So to get Gene out and try it, to get some folks that have never been in a Wilderness Systems boat to try this pedal drive out, that's when you're going to get your your honest to goodness, real deal feel, unsolic you know, unsolicited and uncensored viewpoint about the PD. So I'm going to get Gene out in this thing real soon. He'll be able to give you a follow-up opinion. Uh, review, overview, you know, insight to how this thing performs, and uh, I'm, I'm going to take a couple of these after the show, start going out and beating the heck out of them, and uh, making sure that I work all the final kinks out of it before it ends up in a shop and on your kayak. Well, guys, that's it for the 2016 iCast. Uh, absolute blast. So, uh, like I say, be sure to introduce somebody to fishing, introduce them to my channel. Let me help you teach them how to fish. More importantly, get out of the water, go and catch a fish. Have a great day.